Good morning everyone, how are you guys? Another beautiful sunny day in Ireland, which is very unusual because we have loads of rain here all the time. So we've been blessed with the weather over the last couple of weeks. And today we have a lot of work to do. First of all, exercising this morning. That's why I'm wearing my gym gear. What you see on me, it's an oil show, brand oil show. And I bought it last year in Malaga. It's khaki color sports bra and the trousers and the leggings and the top that I'm wearing is from TK Maxx it's very very old but that Osho brand has a lot of beautiful pieces anyway if you want to check it out this is not sponsored anything that you're gonna see or hear today is not sponsored I bought everything myself no one is sponsoring me which is grand it's fine but I have here as well Moroccan oil we need to try that on today I need to give you a review of this product I have not tried it yet so I would love to love to try it with you and I received in a post as well Saint Tropez Gradual Tan. It's one minute gradual tan that you apply just before a shower for one minute and then you wash it off and gradually every single day you develop, develop lovely glowing skin. I would love to know is it actually work or not. If you tried this before, please let me know. Again, this is not sponsored. I bought that myself. Another product that I bought and I'm trying out at, as we speak is this body balm that contain lactic acid and vitamin C so should have exfoliate should exfoliate my skin without mechanical scrubs I should have a beautiful glowing skin while I'm using it as well and the vitamin C will brighten my skin nourish so I will definitely give you a review of those two products as well when I use them and if I'm happy with them I think for the moment maybe just to mention that I have them and I'm looking at them also today today is the day when I'm going to reveal my bridal shoes are you ready for it are you really, really, really ready for it? And I hope you are going to be disappointed because I've been building this up so, for so long. And now if you're disappointing, it, you're going to be disappointed then. What's the whole point of building all that? So I think that's everything what I'm going to have for you today. If there's anything that comes to my mind, I just throw into that video as well. But this morning, let's start exercising. I'm planning to do about 30 minutes. If I can, I do 45 minutes. I'm going to put a little bit on the speed for you. I don't think you want to watch me for 35 minutes. I'm going to make it really, really fast. But if you want ever, ever in details what I'm exercising, what, what I am doing from my body shape, which for the moment I'm not very happy with yet. I want to tone more as well and to be toned a little bit more. I need to lose a little bit more weight. So I'm looking forward to it to get my beautiful shape and body back as I used to be. This is definitely what I'm wearing out of my comfort zone, So, but it's especially for you. I want to look well for you. So I put my special gear on. Check their website. It's a website called Oisho. It's not sponsored and they have loads of beautiful exercising gear, gym, clothes, and they, they have some leisure wear as well. They're available in Ireland. But if you like what you see, this, this one is gone already, but there's such beautiful pieces and I missed out on beautiful white leggings and I'm so disappointed because I love as you could tell I love wearing white and I missed out on them there's only size large left but hey there may be some other one coming up soon let's start exercising let's not blah blah anymore it's time it's time we rented this cross trainer from a company called The Gym Hire as I didn't want to commit to buying a cross trainer without trying it first and I'm actually enjoying it very very much so it's great for your knees and also it's not that expensive to rent it for five weeks and then you can return it or you can continue renting it out i think in the future i'm going to buy one because it's brilliant when it's raining outside you can't go for a walk i find it very very good for burning and also great for your knees or your back so i did i did 10 minutes on my cross trainer and just a little tip as well, I'm always watching inspiration videos from different YouTubers. It's just pass on a time as well and it doesn't feel as bad, I don't feel as much pain. But now Pilates, strengthening exercise and then 10 minutes of cross trainer again.
I am really, really tired. I did 10 minutes of cross trainer, 15 minutes strengthening exercise, and then 10 minutes cross trainer again. I'm gonna do my hula hoop later as I feel, I, I just need a shower, <laughs> like I'm ready for a shower. And also we need to try it on that shampoo, conditioner, and styling cream, blow dry my hair as well to see are they curling, are they straightening us. So we try half and half maybe. Um, if you're ready, let's go and just wash my hair. Now I'm ready for the review. I washed my hair with hydration shampoo from American Oil and my feedback on it is absolutely very, very good, great product for the reason. Now, when I washed my hair, they felt very, very clean. You know, that kind of squeaky clean without being over dry. And definitely I did have to use conditioner after because I have very, very dry hair. They always get entangled. You can see they're very fine as well. This is the nature of my hair. There's nothing I can do about it. I've tried everything, hair growth, I have a lot of hair but they're fine and just very delicate, they don't like anything, any chemicals. So I'm very lucky that I can use this product as well and I also have a sensitive scalp. So far so good, I have no itchiness, no discomfort, loved it for how well it cleaned my hair. I did have to use it about three times because I had a lot of hairspray in my hair, a lot. So after using shampoo, I had to use hydration conditioner and I have to say I'm absolutely in love with it. It feels, the minute you put it on, your hair just becomes so sleek and soft and it smells amazing. So definitely those two products are for all hair types. I love the conditioner. Definitely I used the mask, hydration mask before, but the conditioner is, I think, as good as the mask. I'm loving it. For the moment, it's one of my favorite products. And now I'm gonna use this product, which is hydration styling cream and also I'm gonna use Moroccan oil treatment in the light version. So this is more like a kind of a little bit of oily consistency and I think I'm going to use this one on this side and that product on this side so let's try a little bit of it it says it doesn't it just to use a small amount so I, I suppose I'm going to use that much for the moment and if we need more we can always use more I just want to make sure that kind of more or less I have half over here so I'm going to style it through so what is what this product should be doing is just give a little bit even more hydration, sleekiness, nourishment as well and of course beautiful smell <laughs> and should help with styling your hair. Now this is more like a treatment and my friend Sharon absolutely loves it, she, is, she swears by it and I'm happy this is the light version of it because there's a there's an original and there's a light version of it, that's how much I'm going to use it, it's just more like an oil. Light, I believe, is more for fine hair, like mine, but if you have a nice, thick and strong hair, why not to use the original one? So, let's go through. I'm going to wipe my hands here, just in case I have any residue left. And now I'm going to blow dry my hair with you guys, and we'll see if there's any difference, maybe like in the volume on one side versus the other one, uh, maybe a bit more manageable and stuff like that. I'm not going to use my favorite heat protection from Kerastase, Kerastase, Kerastase. I'm not going to use it today because I just want to get like a true review of those products strictly. But before we start blow drying as well, I need to tell you, I'm going to use that. I used that today before shower, before I wash my hair. And over the next eight hours, color should, should develop a little bit and I should see some kind of changes in my skin color. I'm not sure. I've applied for one minute. I rinse it off straight away in the shower. Is it going to work? If you love hear more from me about this product, it means probably it didn't work. Let's fingers, let's keep the fingers crossed, but also this product, this tanning cream is not going to work with my body balm that I showed you this morning because they, one is to give me a color and the other one is kind of like remove the color, so I cannot use them two at the same time. So I'm going to focus now on this saint one minute every day tan. <laughs> I'm going to focus to use that first and then I can give you a review if I'm happy with this product. Let's blow dry my hair. For the brush I'm going to use my Goodie Style brush that I have for years. I really like it. It's nice and big size. It's perfect actually to do most of my hair despite the length and actually that brush was perfect when I was wearing hair extensions. Also for a hair dryer, hair dryer it's just GHD hair dryer.
So now after blow drying, what do you think guys? I feel like I have a little bit more volume on this side than on this side, which kind of makes more sense. This is diamond cream, this is more oil-based conditioner. But also I'm gonna straighten my hair now just to see, instead of curling, and see how I'm actually gonna look after. Would it be easier to maybe straighten this side than that side? But in the future, when I start curling my hair, I'm definitely gonna give you a feedback if they're gonna work, how they work together for curling your hair. I hope they will, that it's gonna be nice and uh, moist <laughs> looking and shy and nourished as well. So we'll have a look today. Let's just straighten them up as usual and we'll see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna use Ashi as well. I've always used for straightening and using just a simple comb because I feel it always gives you that little bit of extra sleekness, <laughs> if that's even a word. They feel very delicate, I have to say. But my hair are delicate, so what do I expect? They, this, this side, I think, feel a little bit stronger. I would say, guys, you can easily use these products together. Mix them up together if you really want, if you want that extra sleek nourishment as well in your hair. But just for the purpose of this video, we're going to use them separately. Now also, before I forget, you can use this product on dry hair as well. If there's too much stuff going on as well and you want that little bit of nourishment. Now let's brush it through, comb it through. It's definitely, I have to say, after all those Moroccan oil products, I don't have to straighten my hair that much. Like, I think that's enough. Like, I don't really have to keep going and over dry them, which is great. You don't have to use the hair straightener as much. Now I think, oh wow, <gasps> just once and it's amazing. Oh wow, usually I have to do it definitely twice pull my straightener through my hair. Look at that. Oh, I'm loving it. It's so nice. <gasps> wow, they're so straight. Then this one is more like a kind of, like a poor thing. It's just a little bit flaky and there's loads of flyaways kind of going on. I think I find my favorite product for her straightening. Like this is not bad at all, but I feel there's more like a texture or something going on. It looks like I have more hair, thicker and stronger hair on this side versus that side. And this is my all time night nightmare, I have to say. I can never really grow this stronger. This is always so, so fine. But for some reason on this side, it's just like, flicks through it, it's really, really nice. And I don't think I have to really straighten it anymore, to be honest, um, wrecking my hair. So I'm loving it. So I think styling cream for today is the winner and I'm going to be using it from now on to style my hair. I am loving it. I'm going to have to use a little bit of hairspray as well on top here, but let's just compare. So this is, I'm going to comb it through. This is the side with the styling cream and this is the side with Moroccan oil treatment. What do you think? I think they're both great. They're both great, but from my personal opinion and a view when I'm looking at it and I'm looking at the camera, I prefer this like with the styling cream, but needless to say, why not to use two of them? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> why not use two of them together as well if you want? Because that's what I do with Olaplex. Sometimes I take a little bit of Moroccan oil. I have another little bottle as well sample and I'm using it with number six from Olaplex and I have the most sleek, beautiful in touch and smell hair. I know Column loves as well when I use Moroccan oil because the smell stays in your hair. Like I never noticed about after many, many products, Moroccan oil always smells stay in your hair for longer versus any other products. I really, really like it. Definitely, I'm gonna stick with the styling cream. I'm gonna keep using it from now on. I've got a great results and I cannot wait to 
curl my hair as well with those two products and see what's going to happen. Now, I think it's time to move to a chair and to tidy this mess because there's a big mess around me on the floor and I'm going to show you my bridal shoes. I think it's time to reveal them. Oh, I can't wait to show you them. Now, I think I, I look a little bit more presentable. I didn't want to insult a designer. <sighs> what do you think? This kind of look a little bit brighter. Oh, are you ready? Oh, I really hope you're going to like them because if you don't, I'm going to be really, really sad. But you know what? I love them and they've been on my mind for so long. And I think I would buy them anyway. Even if I wouldn't get married, I still would buy them. So here they are. So I'm going to show you them in a close-up view in one second, but what they are, Jimmy Choo wedding shoes sandals. Oh my god, what do you think? The finish on them is just absolutely amazing. This is the second time I'm holding designer shoes in my hands. I had a Christian Louboutin's, the very, very first, it's called Very Privé, I think, peak toe shoes, and I don't like them anymore, but when I saw this one, this is something that is never going to date. And I'm going to wear them again and again. The real leather sole at the bottom and the leather inside and also a little bit of satin finish. So all those pairs are based on a satin fabric. Very, very delicate strap around the ankle and lovely a Jimmy Choo sign here on this big pearl. There's about, I would say about five different sizes, if not more, pearls used on this shoe and it's the whole way around. I love the fact that it's actually very small open toe section here so you don't see it much because I was always worried if you wear a wedding dress you don't want to see someone's toes all the time. But there's just very little my big toe and a second toe I think sticking out that's all. But other than that I am so happy when I saw them I was nearly in tears. They very true to size. So if you're 37 and a half, 38 and a half, that's what they are. Take into consideration that I'm not going to buy wedding dress. So I was able to invest in the shoes instead of wedding dress. I absolutely understand this is my madness because I love shoes so much and handbags, clothes, everything. And this was my thing. That's why my other excuse was I'm going to wear those shoes and wear it forever and I hope they're going to stay as good as they are. There's a two years warranty on those shoes. I think on most of the designer shoes there's a two years warranty. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about them. That I lost my mind? I probably did but I don't really care. This is love from the first sight and ever going to be. They're selling out very, very quickly. They're available on many websites, but I hope Jimmy Choo, he introduced a new version of them, but it's not a Paris anymore. So if you're thinking about, uh, about buying them, then hurry up. <laughs> hurry up, I'm gonna leave links down below. And if you want to, you know, I'm sure you can send a private message as well and ask them, are they gonna always have them in stock or not? But I was panicking and I got them from Jimmy Choo website, that's where I got it from. They were also on my Teresa website. They are in Brown Thomas in Ireland, in Dublin, but they're not available in half size and they are true to size. They are very, 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 very comfortable. And the heel, I think it's about 10 centimeters, so it's not too high. It's perfect, comfortable for the wedding to be able to, I'm not sure about dancing, but wear them throughout the day on the wedding day. What do you think? I'm in love. So my first, proper designer shoes pair apart from La Boutons, but this is the most ex expensive purchase I have ever made if it comes to clothing. I also have to find now a lovely home where to store them. I don't want to keep them in the box. I want to put them behind the glass shelf ideally because I believe because of the texture of it, the pearls, the dust might just kind of try to settle between the pearls. So I need to keep it in the glass case somewhere. There's lots of glass cases in IKEA for the time of being. But for now on, I'll keep them in the box until I'm gonna get that glass case. But I'm gonna look at them every single day. I feel like I want to wear them every single time, but I don't really want to wear them at home because, or anywhere else for the moment until the wedding because they're not gonna feel probably as special. But I just keep looking at them, honestly. <laughs> so I hope you really, really like them. 
And for today, I think that's everything. I think that's enough. I think it's a long enough video. I will see you soon, hopefully in the next two days and I have more. I actually got a table for this room, so I'm gonna show you a room tour as well and I'm gonna unpack that coffee table together. Thank you so much for today and I will see you soon.